What is going on guys? Reseller Tom here. Today we're giving you a what sold video. I do these every single day. So if that's something you're interested in, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I will come to you guys every single day with what sold on eBay. So yesterday was uh, not so shabby, 418. Like I said, I want to be over 333. And uh, so yesterday was good. 415 or 418 whenever I have a huge spike it's usually followed by a down day for some reason I'm not sure but I guess it all evens out and so yesterday was 418 and it's 956 a.m. and I'm at 150 so I'm predicting another 400 plus dollar day which is good and um, so yeah let's get straight into it let's see exactly what sold so start off a couple minutes ago this sold and i did a haul the other day with these and it's basically nike tech pants or joggers anytime you find these at the bins just pick it up they sell for really good money uh these did not sell for that much it sold for 15 plus 890 shipping and the reason is because there's paint all over it and so obviously i disclosed that and the person knows uh the next thing that sold was wax a wax london shirt this is a um very high um very high asp uh product and the um the tag looks like that and it's lysol right here it's spelled like that so whenever you see this tag get it because most of them sell for like 50 dollars, like insane prices i'm not sure why i guess there's like a niche audience for it I've never heard of it until I was at the bins. That's why it's so good to bring your phone and research things. Because if something feels nice, just look it up. Or if it has like linen or Lysol fabric, just look it up. Because it usually goes for a lot of money. These Gymshark uh, leggings. I like Gymshark. Pretty good brand. It's a good fitness brand to uh, look out for. doesn't go for that much, but it does sell really fast. A Banana, Banana Republic uh, V-neck. Super basic, nothing crazy here. I pro probably would not pick this up again because it's just too basic. You don't really want to pick up super solid shirts. Maybe if you're doing like high volume, but if you really want to make more profit, increase your margin, make more money at the end of the day, you're not making really anything on five dollars plus six fifty shipping. So the reason why this is marked down so much is because it's been sitting ar around forever and so i'm just trying to get rid of a lot of my older shirts that have just been sitting around for ages lacoste i really like this brand a lot and it sold for 20 percent off of 19 and uh, or 25 percent off i actually bumped it up my store coupon up to 25 percent just to see how it works and usually it's just a 20% off store-wide coupon. I bumped it up to 25%. So I'm going to pro probably leave it like this for maybe a week just to see how my sales go. And I've been marking a lot of things down. So I'm just trying to really make as much as I can this month because I have a $15,000 goal. I'm shy of it. And uh, so far this month, I'm at like 8400 and so time is running out. We have like nine days. I'll get pretty close. So I'll probably I'm shooting for 15. So I'm going to try to do whatever it takes. So that's the goal. So if I have to mark things down, be more aggressive, accept more offers, I'm willing to do it. This uh, vintage Puerto Rico bucket hat, it's like fox leather made in the USA. Sold for, um, I believe they just got it for 25% off. This RVCA shirt in the video, I was like, there's a hole in it. It's probably going to sell for five. And someone sent me an offer for five bucks. So I, ju I just accepted it because um, it doesn't weigh anything and it had a, a defect. And I know that if I don't sell it soon, it's probably never going to sell. Here is a, um, a Puma polo with the BMW logo. So whenever you find like Whenever you find polos that have like car badges on it, I would just pick it up because there's always going to be that car enthusiast that will go ahead and pick it up. 
This Nike Tech hoodie, I'm surprised it took so long to sell because it's in really good condition. It finally sold for 25% off of uh, 31 which is a nice little decent sale there. These uh, Patagonia Capelin leggings, base layer. Um, I used to sell these all the time. And then this one sat around for a long time. And then I also have blue ones that are sitting around. So I'm not sure why. It's it's mostly uh, because it's summer. And so it's not in demand right now. And someone sent me an offer for 10 bucks, I believe. So 10 bucks plus 650 shipping. So nothing crazy. A Talbots. I like Talbots, especially if it's plus size. I would really look at the sell-through rate with any women's um, like dress or blouse shirt like this. Anything that's plus size, I would look into uh, because they are they sell really fast for really good money. So this Talbot shirt, it's just a um, long sleeve crew neck. It's a 3x plus size, sold uh, for for pretty good money for the weight. Because like I said, I get all my stuff at the bins. So it's so light. And so most of it is just profit. Like shipping alone, I'll probably make just profit off that alone. These Adidas uh, shorts were in my haul the other day. I said it might be a longer tail item. But it does have a cool design. Like if it was just black or just red or just gray, it wouldn't have sold fast. But since it looks like that, it has like a cool um, colorway where it's red, gray, and black. And it has a stripe. So if you're going to pick up shorts, try to pick up shorts that actually look really cool like this. Sublime um, women's shirt, just a very basic shirt. This actually sold before and it was returned for a size issue. And then it was finally um, paid for again. The thing about returns is, yes, it sucks. But if it sold once, it'll sell again. So don't get super discouraged if you have to return, if you get a return. This was a good sale, a vintage Arnold Palmer um, cardigan. Cardigans do good. Maybe not during the summer, but co cardigans overall demand more money and their higher sell-through rate. And this took a little long, maybe about 90 days, but it, it sold for fairly good money. This um, New York Yankees hat sold for 25% um, off of 11. At the bins, I'd pretty much just pick up anything that's Yankees, any sports teams. And if you guys um, didn't see the video yesterday in the hall, I talked about how I got a Vero. This is my second Vero. And all the Veros I get are for hats. And so they said it was a counterfeit hat. And the hat was a Panda Express employee hat. So, um, I mean, it looked like all the other ones on eBay. So, you know, you just have to be very, very careful with certain brands. Uh, Avera is basically like when the company contacts eBay and they're like, yeah, we want this taken off. And um, there's been other YouTubers that had the same exact Vero yesterday with the same exact product. And they all said like they believe it was real. So it could it couldn't um, just be they don't want it sold on eBay and they're just taking down everything on eBay. Uh, but I got a warning saying like if um if you get one more Vero, like we're going to suspend your account for three days, which is scary. It's not good. And I have a lot of hats in my store and I get Veros just on hats. So I need to be, I need to be very careful. And Veros just come out of nowhere because that hat has been listed for like six months. And I wish there was like, I wish like they weren't so strict on Veros because like, like what if they, you get like three Veros in a day, like of items that have been sitting around for like nine months. It's just I don't really like how they go about doing it because it's just like there's so many list there's still so many Panda Express hats listed on eBay and um, so I'm never going to pick that brand up again and um, it sucks but it is what it is this lucky brand uh, Venice Burnout I do really really good with Venice Burnout t-shirts it's basically just really light and it'll say Venice Burnout on the top and it's just very light it's like almost see-through and this had a cool graphic, so this sold for 25% off of uh, 24 bucks. Uh, a J. Crew uh, chambray button up, so I like getting chambray stuff, even if it's J. Crew. It does very good for me. Sold for good money too. This Lacoste polo shirt, it's um, size six, which is a bigger size. It's a large, and it's like pink. Sold for really good money. Good color in Lacoste, and um, 
yeah, sold for really good money. Uh, 25% off of 24, I believe, and um, which is great. These fig scrubs, never sleep on figs. Any fig stuff that I find in the bins, I just pick up because it always sells for really good money, and they did a 25% off of 24. And um, they're pretty light. They, they go first class. So I really like to have a first class business model, unless it's jeans or a heavier coat. But for the most part, I try to just pick up things that are first class, and then I'll just use poly mailers. I have a video all about shipping, but this is a uh, six by... 13 I believe and I just roll everything up and put everything in here and then I also have a 10 by 13 which is just a bigger version of this if you want to check out my shipping video I go over it way more in depth as well as the the legal flat rate like what to um, use for jeans and heavier things and so the legal flat rate or just the flat rate envelope is your best friend because it's just a flat $7.60 for anything that's heavier than a pound. As long as they can fit in it, it will ship. This, uh, These plug cargo shorts, this was in my haul the other day. I told you guys that it has a 100% sell-through rate and it sold within 30 days, like sold within a week. Um, or maybe within two days because I picked up two of these. I listed one like two days ago and then I listed one like a week ago. So I'm not sure which one it was, but they sell really fast. And look up the sell-through rate. Whenever you buy shorts or pants or jeans, make sure when you're looking up sell-through rate, you're, you're putting in the size. And then you have to, um, on eBay, plug in the, the brand, what it is, um, like shorts, or I would just put um, plug cargo shorts men's 36 in eBay. Look at the solds, the ratio uh, from what is um, listed, and then how many have sold. You get that ratio. If it's 100%, just pick up anything that's 100% um, success rate within 90 days. This uh, Ralph Lauren polo shirt, youth will never pick up a youth polo shirt again. Uh, sold for nothing. This Calvin Klein shirt woman size 12 um, pink just very basic wouldn't pick up a very basic shirt like that again it's just you need to pick up button-ups that have really cool designs is what I figured out um, unless the only colors I would really go with is just black or blue but still it has a very long um, wait time so pick up button-ups have really cool designs and so that is it I believe because a lucky brand hat. I believe I went through these the on the last what sold. Um, yeah, I did. So that is it for today on what sold. So recapping a bunch of first class items that I found at the bins. Cardigans are good. Always get shorts with really cool designs like this. Always get plus size towel bits or um, towel bits is really good. Tord is really good. Uh, Eileen Fisher's really good. Always look up. Always look up uh, selfie rate for plus size. Um, even Old Navy could be good and Gap could be good if it's like a floral blue top like this. Just look up selfie rates, guys. Pick up, you know, polos that have car badges. Nike Tech is really good. Tank tops have been selling really good for me, even if they have holes. Sun hats and bucket hats do good right now. Lacoste is great. And um, Gymshark is a fairly good brand. This wax brand is really good. And even Nike Tech pants. I find these all the time at the bins. Some, sometimes they go for like 34 bucks if they're in good condition. If they're in not so good condition, they'll still go for good money. 15 plus 890 shipping. I'll ship it out for $760. i will make some profit on shipping. Plus I'll have 15 So at least $10 profit there. Uh, but yeah, if you guys uh, like content like this, um, all I ask is that you just like the video and subscribe. And I come to you guys every single day with what sold videos. I come to you every single day with um, shipping hauls. And I also uh, create content every day on how to increase sales or overall just eBay like tips and tricks. So we'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk shortly. Peace.